What's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today I want to address both run the foot market videos because I think they're both great videos and also I wanted to just talk about the current movement within the community and the stand against EA. Um, it's I've not made a video like this for a very long time. I've kind of been a robot in the sense that I've just posted like share play content and that's pretty much it now for years. Um, I, I just wanted to finally sort of speak out and say something i think it's really important that creators do use their platform uh to talk about issues and the fact that i haven't i feel quite i feel like it's a poor representation of myself that i've not used my platform yet to speak out about anything and i wanted to apologize for that and i also wanted to apologize for my reaction on saturday um on saturday i posted just a what i thought was a normal video right i opened store packs uh, with the, with FC points, um, I gave some of my viewers some FC points to open store packs, and I just posted what I thought was a normal video. Didn't think a thing of it, right? And that was incredibly naive and pretty stupid from me because we're in a point where the community right now was making sacrifices and sort of, you know, uniting to go against EA, and I'm sat there like, yeah, here's here's a here's me spending eighty quid in a video and giving EA more money, like you know, I didn't think of it the way that it was when I made the video. But it ultimately is a slap in the face of the people that are making sacrifices or that are that are trying hard to make content that doesn't involve buying FC points. Um, and I wanted to apologize to you guys, to the other content creators that are making a stand that when I didn't immediately join and help. And I just wanted to apologize for being naive and making a, a video like that when I really should have thought about a scenario a whole lot more. Um, and also apologize. I want to apologize for my reaction too. Um, you know, I, I, I felt very victimized at the time because i had a lot of people come into my comments and come into my twitter and giving me sort of hate and abuse for sort of not saying anything at the time um and i you know rather than taking responsibility i kind of just played victim a little bit and and sort of reacted in a poor way so i wanted to apologize for that too um i think it's really important that we take a stand against ea because ea ultimately have had a monopoly on the football game industry for a very long time and they have gotten away with year on year slowly implementing a system where everything's behind a paywall and that is not how video games should be we should not have to pay for the best content on a game when we buy the game for a hundred pounds every year anyway i think it's completely wrong that we've gone from in fifa 17 18 getting sbcs of this content to nowadays the same content we got as sbcs you know the party picks the party bags they're now reshaped reworded and repackaged as store pack content it's not right it shouldn't be right i don't think that ea should be able to have content that was free content years ago now ultimately only available behind a paywall I think it's sad and I hate the way that the game's going. I hate the direction the game's going. Um, and I and I hate the fact that I didn't speak up about it sooner. And ultimately, that's my bad. My outlook has always been we've tried boycotting the game in the past and we've tried doing things in the past that ultimately have, have not worked and they've not been fruitful. I've been a content creator now for a decade and I've been full time now for six years and I've been a part of this community now for a decade and I've seen movements come and go and things not change. So... When I saw the boycott EA movement from Nick, I thought it was a great idea, but I just thought, like, it's not going to change. And, you know, to me, it seemed asking content creators to give up their livelihoods for three months, six months, a year, or whatever, whatever was the being suggested at the time, it just seemed ludicrous for something that ultimately hasn't had change affected in the past I, I so that to me i just thought you know i'll just continue uploading as normal and continue making videos as normal um and clearly I, like i completely misunderstood the whole scenario because what i didn't realize is this time feels different because this time i'm seeing content creators come together and have discourse and look for solutions where we can try and uh, sort of affect change in the game without you know the classic oh this guy is going to continue uploading videos whilst this guy stops kind of thing, right? It seems like for once actually united now, you know, whether I can speak on the, I can't speak on behalf of the whole community. So I don't know if it's really going to impact change. I don't know if, you know, whilst we say we're not going to buy FC points, you know, Joe Schmo from down the road is going to buy 24K tonight and open up every store pack available. I can't speak on that. But what I can say is I think if we all as a core community did come together and tried to you know invoke change by completely not buying fc points and creating a stigma around fc points i think it could 
have the effect needed to make change in this game. A large reason for my store pack content in the past is actually because it was a way for me to give back to my viewers. Now, if you guys watch me on Twitch or you watch my streams, you would know that I will buy codes for my viewers, especially the ones that share play content to me every day at 6 p.m. I will buy codes for them when a big store pack comes out as a thank you because it's kind of a win-win. They allow me to watch the pack and I can buy them a code and they can have a chance of getting some of the best players. It, it feels like a win-win. It feels like a good way for me to give back. However, I appreciate there are definitely other ways to give back that don't involve giving EA money. I can I can give back in other ways. You know, you can do Amazon codes. You can do anything, really. Um, so I won't be buying FC points at all, whether it be for myself or for viewers either. I won't be buying people the store pack. I think it's completely fine opening the store pack with coins. Um, and I know I've got a lot of coins. I know that I've got multiple accounts with coins on. Um, and I think it's one of those things where the store pack content, I don't think, like... If you buy it with coins, I don't think it's a neg like I don't think it's a negative for you to buy it with coins because ultimately EA don't get money if you buy coins. If you buy the pack with coins, EA aren't getting the forty pounds for the for the store pack. So I don't see an issue there. But if you are to go and buy FC points to buy the pack, you need to realize like you're giving EA money and effectively rewarding ea for the constant mistakes i mean whether it be the team of the year messi issue whether it be the red picks issue that happened literally just last week whether it be when yaya Torre had the wrong league on his card some of you might not even know this but if you had a yaya Torre, you got given the coins back for buying yaya Torre, and you kept yaya Torre. there were people in this community somebody made over 200 million coins for buying a bunch of yaya Torres, selling the yaya Torres but also getting the coins back for what they paid for Yaya Torre. So they got double the coins because EA messed up the league on the card. I know that there was a Cruyff issue where he had the wrong playstyle plus and people got given a first owner tradable Cruyff in return. We had the whole debacle last year where EA mistranslated store packs to meaning people would get 30, 40 team of the year, uh, team of the season uh, player picks from mistranslated store pack. People had every team of the season card in the game by ultimate toss last year because the store packs give out the loan player picks and the translated version of, it, of these packs in certain countries did not say loan so ea had to give compensation back like there have been so many huge bugs and i feel like an idiot because when i look back at it we've just been rewarding ea by giving them record profits every year for making horrendous mistakes not to mention that these games ultimately are just copy and pasted games from previous years somebody went back and stripped back one of the games and realized the code the, the, the core fundamental code hasn't been changed since like fifa 17 i mean that's ridiculous to me i cannot believe that we are paying for a game every year that is effectively just previous game with a couple more animations and a paintbrush going across it and, and sort of repurposing it. The funny thing is, I actually enjoy this game for the most part. I mean, we all play those weekend league games where we absolutely lose our brain. I think my hairline has receded at least four inches since the start of FC24. Um, you know, weekend league riles even the calmest people up. I totally get that. But for the most part, I do actually enjoy this game. Um, I enjoy building ultimate teams using some of my favorite players i think evos this year have been a really cool addition to be able to make some of your favorite cards like copy menu for example a much higher rated card um i know a lot of my viewers that are my united fans have built up some incredible my united past and present evo teams as well i actually don't hate the game i don't like i enjoy it enough to where i enjoy it most of the time when i'm playing it but i think the direction it's going in is one of the most unhealthy directions I've ever seen a game go. And the worst part is, is that if we don't make a stand soon, it's just going to continue. I also appreciate that I'm, whilst I may enjoy the game, I know a lot of people really don't enjoy this game. Um, and I, what I, the, the, one of the biggest things I would say for those people is, I think the best thing you can do is stopping playing, which I appreciate for some people, this game might be an addiction or you're only fixed for football content. I wouldn't, I would just say to stop playing the game entirely if you can. I think a decrease in numbers across the board from EA is probably one of the scariest things that they can go through, especially when it involves their bottom line. And I think that's when they'll panic and start making changes to this game. I don't see them doing it otherwise. Ultimately, I don't want to sit here and tell adults how to spend their hard-earned cash. I think you are entitled to spend your money however you want. And I do appreciate that some people do get enjoyment from opening store packs. And I do appreciate that that people, you know, it's, it's not fun for somebody to sit there and tell you 
where you can and can't spend your money. But I think as a community, one of the best things we can do is create a stigma around buying FC points, making people think it is wrong and making people think twice, maybe feeling that element of shame when they go to the FC point section of the, of the game and they go to buy more FC points. I think we as a community can have a, a positive impact on the game by doing that. Now, I'm not... I think you should never go and attack people, don't abuse people, don't belittle people, don't treat people disrespectfully. A gentle nudge or, you know, voicing some disappointment is absolutely all you need to do. Think about it like this, right? Five backs in the game have been known as ratty since as long as I can remember, right? Playing a five back or drop back one depth has been known as ratty and a bad way to play the game. For as long as I can remember, for as long as, as this game and Ultimate Team has been competitive, that's ultimately been one of the biggest stigmas in the game. And I know a lot of people that will not play that way because it's a stigma in the game. We just have to follow suit with FC points. It's not a super difficult thing to do, and it's not a super aggressive thing that we can do that will have a monumental impact, in my opinion, on how EA look at their bottom line, how EA look at how they make the game. Um, not everything needs to be behind a paywall. I mean, even with Evolution, seeing Evolutions being like a thousand FC points seems absolutely ludicrous to me. So that's that's my piece. I wanted to say my piece. I wanted just to, to speak up. I wanted to apologize and sort of give my two cents on the scenario and give my two cents on, on everything. If you've got any questions or anything like that, if you want to leave me a comment down below, I'm going to try my best to reply to a, a lot of comments. Um, all constructive criticism is, is welcomed as well. You know, I, I just had a, a rough morning when I woke up and saw a bunch of negative comments and I didn't respond in the right way and I want to apologize for that. So please feel free to, to be constructive and let me know your thoughts. Um, and thank you to everyone that supports the channel. You know, from tomorrow onwards, we'll have regular content. It just won't invo involve FC points again. We won't. It won't involve buying packs with FC points. It'll be coins or it'll be SBCs and that's it. Um, so thank you for watching. Appreciate you guys. Hopefully you've all had a great weekend. Um, if you're a United fan like me, you probably haven't because we lost yet another game. That's 19 losses in the league this year. Painful. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.